Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my November TBR. So, in November, there are so many readathons happening. So many readathons. And I want to participate in all of them, but that's really not likely. Um, so, I'm hoping that I can just pull things from each of them um, while they're happening and then, you know, participate somewhat. Um, because there's a lot of them that I'm really excited about and I just. I want to participate. Plus, I love readathons, even though the Spookathon did not go well for me. I read one book the entire week. I mean, I started a bunch, but I only read one, so that's why there's no Spookathon wrap up because there's nothing to wrap you up on. I'll do it in my. You'll see what I read in my no, um, October wrap up. All right. So in the month of November, there is the Scallywagathon that happens between the fifth and the thirteenth. No, the fifth and the the 11th and that's put on by Allie over at Hardback Quarter and I think Amanda but I don't remember what her channel name is so I'll try to link everything down below. Um, the Contemporary Athon which is put on by Julie over at Pages and Pens and Chelsea from Chelsea Dowling Reads. Um, that happens from November 13th to the 19th. Um, there is the Mini Moji Athon which happens between November 23rd and the 30th that is put on by Julie over at Pages and Pens. Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5 and someone else I think who is a bookstagram. I think I want to say her name is Brittany but I might be completely wrong so I don't know. Um, and then also it's nonfiction November so you're supposed to read nonfiction books the whole month of November but I have too many other things that I need to read so I would like to sprinkle some nonfiction in here. And then I also believe that A Court of Books and Love Amanda over there she's going to be doing a readathon um, in the month of November as well which I think the whole point of that is just to read books off of your TBR to kind of thin it out so I'm gonna try to read as many books off of my own TBR as I can this month that will be my way of participating in the readathon and um, the only ones I will not be able to read are nonfiction because I don't really own any nonfiction but there are a couple books that I have in mind that I would like to get to so We'll see if that happens, but the are, there are four books here that I definitely want to get to this month, and then everything else is kind of up in the air depending on those readathons. I'm going to try to put up some TBRs for those um, specific readathons. Like I said, I probably won't get to all of them. I know I won't, but I'm going to try. Oh, also, I think the Tome Topple, um, another round of Tome Topple is happening, and I think it happens during the same time as the Mini Moji Athon. So maybe I can kind of put those two together to come up with something. We'll see. Anyways, I have four books here, so let's just talk about them really quick. I have Wake by Amanda Hawking. This is the first book in the Wake Quartet, or the Water Song series, I think, sorry. And um, this is my TBR jar pick for my TBR Rewind for the month of November, so I need to get to this. Um, I have five series that I want to finish by the end of the year, and it doesn't look like I'm going to finish any of them at this point. I just went through everything, and I have 15 books that I need to get through by December 31st. I think I failed this year, guys. I think I failed. But anyway, so um, one of those series is the Harry Potter series, so I am going to pick up the fifth book, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Obviously, it's a really big book, and if you guys saw my... November TBR Rewind. This is a little scary. But you know what? These are quick. I'm going to listen to it on audio, I think, most of it, and hopefully I'll get through it. The next book is The Luminaries. This is by Eleanor Catan. I think I can count this as a tome, but I have to get through this because this was on my November TBR last year, so it's part of my November TBR Rewind. Um, this is like 870 pages. And it scares the hell out of me. So if you've read it, let me know down below if it's good and if I should try. Because if not, maybe I'll just get rid of it. Although it, it would really hurt my heart to get rid of it because I bought it a full price. So it wasn't cheap. And I have not read it. And it's been on my shelf for years. And then the final book on my TBR is actually going to be my Throwback Thursday pick. If you guys have been watching that, I put up my first Throwback Thursday last month. I read Number of the Stars by Lois Lowry, and I loved it. It was a really fun experience for me. So this month I'm going to read The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. This is the first book in The Hunger Games th trilogy, and I haven't read this in years. So I'm really excited to get back into this world. I remember loving the first one 
not really liking the second one and I think I was okay with the third one. So we'll see what I think about it now, years later. So you guys will look out for that the third week of, the third Thursday in November. Uh, unless that's Thanksgiving, I might put it up the Wednesday before. Okay, so those are the four books that I have to get to this month. Um, everything else is kind of up in the air depending on how I decide to participate in those many readathons this month. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys are reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.